To begin this lesson, open the Market Trader project from your Sample Files folder. And open quoteadmin.aspx in Design view. You're now going to edit the Edit Item template for the Market field of this Grid View control. First open the Quick Tasks menu for the Grid View control. If you've come straight from the previous lesson, the Quick Tasks menu may already be in Template Editing mode. If it isn't, click Edit Templates from the Quick Tasks menu. Now click the Display drop-down menu. A list of templates is displayed. Template fields provide several different templates. The Item template is the standard template used for each row in the Grid View control. If another template is missing, this one will be used instead. The Alternating Item template is a template to be used for every other row. This is often used to create a striped effect by using a different background colour. The Edit Item template is the template to be used when the row is being edited. This will typically contain editable controls such as the text box and drop-down list controls. The header template is the template for the heading of the column in the Grid View control. If you leave this template blank, the header text property will be used instead. And finally, the footer template is the template for the footer of the column in the Grid View control. As well as the template field templates, You'll notice the Empty Data Template and the Pager Template options. These templates are always available, even without any template field columns. The Empty Data Template is displayed if the Grid View control has no data to display. And the Pager Template is used to switch between pages of data. You would use this if you wanted to implement your own custom paging solution. Now notice the text Column 0 Market. This is a reference to the template field you created in the previous lesson. If there was more than one template field in this Grid View control, you would see Column 1, Column 2, etc. Now click the Edit Item Template option. This template allows you to customize the editing controls that will appear when the user clicks one of the Grid View Controls edit buttons. Now add a drop down list control to the Edit Item Template. And set its ID property to drop down list market when the user clicks one of the edit buttons next to a quote record in the grid view control this drop down list control will appear in the market column you're going to configure this drop down list control to allow the user to change which market record is linked to each quote record next You'll need to add a Link Data Source control to the Edit Item template. The drop down list control will use this data source to display a list of all markets from the market table. Set the ID property of your new Link Data Source control. To link data source market. 
Now configure the new Link Data Source control to retrieve records from the Market table sorted by market name. Configuring Link Data Source controls is covered in Session 11 of the Essential Skills course. Next, you'll need to configure the drop-down list control to display the list of markets. Open the Quick Tasks menu of the drop-down list control and click Choose Data Source. Now click the first drop-down menu and select Link Data Source Market. Click the second drop-down menu and select Market Name. And click the third drop-down menu and select Market ID. The Market ID is the primary key of the market table. You'll use this to connect or bind the drop down list control to the quote record that is being edited in the grid view control. Click OK now. Your drop down list control is now configured to retrieve the list of markets. But in order to actually update the record, it will need to be connected, or bound, to the quote record that is being edited. Click Edit Data Bindings from the Quick Tasks menu of the drop-down list control. Now click the Bound To drop-down menu. If the drop-down menu isn't available, click Refresh Schema. Now click Bound To and select Market ID. Now examine the code in the Code Expression text box. Bind Market ID. The code is very similar to the eval expression you used in Lesson 6 8. The eval expression simply extracts a value from the database, while the bind expression also allows the value to be updated. Click OK now. And let's test the page. Click Debug. Start debugging. And click Edit next to a record. You can now edit the Market Foreign Key field using the drop-down list control. Because it was correctly bound to the Market ID field, it will display the current market of each record, as well as allowing you to update it. Close your web browser now. and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 6-9. Use the GridView Edit Item Template.